Hi, thanks for joining me today on Between the Sundays. I'm so glad you're back with me. I'm hoping this series is of help to you, and if it is, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I'm going to link part one and part two at the end. Um, they will be in the little boxes above me if you want to catch up a little bit. And we're just basically looking at a couple of verses each time and, and really breaking them apart. So let's get started. We're going to be looking at 1 Samuel 30 today. And David went into battle with his men and he came back to his city of Ziklag with his men and while they had been gone the Philistines had burned the city and they had taken all of the children and wives as hostage and it says the men wept until they could weep no more they were just devastated and brokenhearted and David was not only just devastated by his wife and children being gone, wives, I should say, but he was also in fear for his life because his other his men were so mad that this had happened and that David had led them away from the city and protecting their families that they were talking about stoning him. And it says... I just want to read you 1 Samuel 30, verse 6. And this is in the King James Version. I just really like the way it's phrased. And it says, And David was greatly distressed because the people spoke of stoning him, for all the people were embittered, each one because of his sons and daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. And I have thought about that for so many times. Um, it is really something to comp contemplate, isn't it? It's um, David was an amazing man, and he is the only man in Scripture that was referred to as having a heart after God's own heart. So he's really important for us to look at his character. And here he... It says that he strengthened himself in the Lord his God. And, you know, I, I just think of that as going back to anxiety and depression and our thinking patterns. And it all has to do with us being able to strengthen ourselves, doesn't it? We need to strengthen ourselves enough in scripture and in the Lord so that we can know the truth and the truth will set us free at times when we need it. I know this morning when I was on my walk, I was really being hit with thoughts, which I believe are from Satan, that that were making me feel, feel very insecure and down on myself. And I don't know if you ever have those times, but I certainly do. And I believe that Satan knows that and he takes advantage of that. And also, there's a situation in my life that I desperately, desperately would like to be different. And, um, and it overwhelms me at times because I see no possible good outcome from it and and yet I was walking and I was about to start crying and giving into just feeling you know overwhelmed by those things and I thought I thought about this verse and I thought okay you know this is this is where the rubber meets the road. This is David encouraged himself in the Lord, Joyce, you know that's something that you should do. And so I started 
right away thinking about God's character. And I said, you know what, God, I know that I can trust you. I know that you are good. I know that you are working even when I don't see it. I know that you are working all things out for my good and your glory. And I can trust you to bring about the best results, whatever those may be. And I, I need to do that. You know, I have to remember that he's God and I'm not. He can see things that I can't. He can see when the best timing is and I can't. And I thought of this verse, which I just really believe the Holy Spirit brought to mind as well. Actually, two verses. And um, all of the verses I'm reading today are from the King James Version. But these verses were Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which probably many of you know. But it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. And I started breaking that apart. And I thought, okay, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. That means we can't give way to doubting him, right? With all our hearts. And lean not on thine own understanding. Because I don't understand. I don't understand why it's there. And, and I'm sure there's situations in your life that you don't understand why they're there. But God does. Um, sometimes it's because of human choices, but he always hears our prayers and we can believe that he has a perfect plan. If we are his child, he has the perfect plan for our lives. And sometimes that plan includes letting things happen that we don't like and and knowing that they will bring us closer to him because ultimately that is that is what our goal should be as a christian and that is his goal for us is to be to close to him And then I thought, okay, in all thy ways acknowledge him. So again, I started thinking about his character and I'm thinking, God, you are good. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for all that you provide. Thank you for increasing my trust in you. Um, you know, we can always ask him to help us trust him more. We can always, you know, pray, I trust you, but please help me to trust you more. And he will do that because he wants that for us. And the last part is, and he shall direct thy paths. So again, he has a perfect plan for us. And so much of the trust, so much of us having trust is dependent on us surrendering to him. I truly believe that. I've just come to that understanding more and more in these last few years is that resting in his plan and surrendering it to him, not trying to control it, but surrendering it to him is the way to trust him. I believe this with my whole heart. Um, I believe that ultimately he wants us to trust him no matter what's happening and, and that whatever that situation is, he's got, he's got us in it because he wants us to learn from it. I know my mom has said, I may have said this in another video, but I know my mom has told me and she's such a godly woman that when things happen to her, she 
looks for what the Lord wants to teach her through it so she won't have to go through it again um, when bad things, you know, or, or things that are especially challenging. Um, but she loves the Lord all the time and surrenders to him all the time. And I just love seeing that in her. What an example that's been to me. So I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to quickly say a prayer for us and, and then again link those other videos if you want to watch them. And I hope your day will be blessed, friends. Dear Lord, I just thank you that you love us. I thank you that we can trust you. Please increase our trust. Please increase our surrendering in our lives and the fact that we can let you work it out however you see fit, and it will be the best for us. Please help us to understand that. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Bye.